All right, good Thursday morning, everybody, live and direct from downtown Memphis, Tennessee. I'm meteorologist Austin Onik. It is a beautiful Thursday morning out there. No major problems being seen at this time. We do have some traffic concerns across the Mid-South. Corey Ventura has got more on uh, time saver traffic going on on News Channel 3 on Daybreak. So if you'd like to tune in for more about what's happening with, again, more about the traffic situation in the Mid-South, we'd love to have you along for that. Welcoming all of our Facebook viewers into the area for the morning and thanks to joining us and as of right now again not really seeing too much of a problem with the forecast things are looking a lot drier in the mid-south maybe a little bit on the breezy side from what we've seen over the course of the last couple of days and a lot more drier air making its way in from parts of Canada so that's going to be helping us out and things are going to be looking quite nice into the area throughout the rest of the forecast into next week so no major problems again at this point in time if you have any plans for outdoors go ahead and keep them I'm not ignoring you unfortunately I'm kind Kind of, but my uh, focus is a little bit uh, divided here. We're trying to get everything going uh, at this point to make certain we've got, again, the possibility of everybody on board with this. But so far, it looks like things are going pretty well at this point. So, again, if you have any problems or concerns, let me know. Austin.onic at the email address at the top of your screen. Taking a look around the area this morning from the City Hall cam, we don't, again, have a lot of concerns. A little bit of haze out there from Germantown, but sunrise on the way and should be a beautiful morning. Currently on radar, we have little, if anything, taking place across the area. Very dry air moving our way, and we'll be staying in the Mid-South throughout the course of the rest of the next couple of days. So chances of rainfall basically non-existent at this point. So around the time frame of the next few days, if you're looking for rain for your garden or to kind of settle the dust a little bit, not going to be happening for this time around. As of right now, again, we don't have too much to report in the way of earthquakes uh, in the area. So far looking at quiet conditions out there on the New Madrid Fault with nothing showing up from the Center for Earthquake Research and Information at the University of Memphis. More of our Weather bug cameras across the area, including the city of Germantown City Hall cam on top of the water tower from just north of Germantown High School, available at wreg.com slash webcams. Hurricanes this morning, we don't have a lot going on. Maria is still a concern off the east coast. It's still a tropical storm, now just basically up to a hurricane earlier on, a Category 1, but as of this morning, looking at winds of 70 miles per hour, so that makes it a tropical storm. Lee is a hurricane, Category 2, strong wind of 110 miles per hour. Both of these are going to be curving their way back out into the Atlantic and are not going to be a threat to the United States. Now down into and around the area of Cuba, just south of Cuba around Jamaica, we have another disturbance showing up. Let me zoom out a little farther so you can see this a little better. Uh, National Hurricane Center giving this a 40% chance of development in the course of the next several days. So this is going to need to be watched around the Keys, southern Florida, the Bahamas. Uh, again, it could be a bit of a problem for the East Coast if it develops into something, but it has not been assigned a number just yet, so we don't have anything really major taking place there. Here in the Mid-South, again, the National Weather Service showing little, if anything, in the way of anything going on for problems or concerns. So very dry, very quiet. Seven-day hazardous weather outlook has nothing to speak of at this point in time. And high pressure well in control, keeping the moisture at bay. A couple of weak cold fronts will be dropping on through the area into the next couple of days as well. So that will reinforce the very dry air and keep things very calm and pleasant. Temperatures, again, into the rest of the day today are going to be quite nice. Going to be going back into around the upper 70s. 70s to the lower 80s, so very nice conditions expected here throughout the rest of the day today. Tonight's low temperatures, jacket for the kids tomorrow may not be such a bad idea. Lower to mid 50s into tomorrow, a little breezy at times as well. High temperatures on Friday, mid to upper 70s to right around 80 degrees. Low temperatures Friday night, lower 60s to upper 50s, and a beautiful weekend ahead. High temperatures again back in the mid to upper 70s for Saturday and Sunday, so looking very good there. More on our seven day forecast. That's available at WREG.com slash weather, and you can go to our seven-day by clicking on the menu section and more updates as to what's going on into and around the area. Welcome to everybody on Periscope, Twitter, and Facebook who has been joining us so far this morning. Thanks to everybody for joining along for right now. If you'd like to know more about severe weather and how you can get involved, tonight's your night if you live around Marks, Mississippi. 
in northeastern Arkansas. A great opportunity to learn more at the Quitman or Northwest Mississippi. But if you're around any part of North Mississippi, you can come join the uh, festivities in and around this area. Uh, this is again a good opportunity to learn more about severe weather and be able to get you a little bit more knowledgeable about what is going to be happening, what to look for when severe weather happens. It'll be tonight at the Marks Community House, 200 Pecan or Pecan Street, depending on how you pronounce that. Uh, Jimmy Matthews is the contact point. If you'd like to know more about that, give him a call or email him, and that'll be at 6.30 tonight, and there'll be more of these training sessions coming up. The more people who are trained to be Skywarn spotters, the more we will all be protected by severe weather because we'll all know what to look for, and this is a great opportunity to learn more about severe weather in the Mid-South. And there'll be plenty of these coming up right on into November because we are approaching the second severe weather season peak for this time of the year. International Space Station will be flying overhead. Look to the southwest just past Jupiter around 725 and then rising through the handle of the Big Dipper around 729 and then finally going between the North Star and the North Horizon setting in the northeast at around 733 tonight. We'll post this and other astronomical stuff on my Facebook page. It is Banned Books Week, so find out more about what you can do to fight censorship and learn more about literature and the power that it has. More on my Twitter page, available at twitter.com slash aonic underscore wreg3. Would love to see your pictures from around the Mid-South. Thanking Savcap123 for a great picture of a double rainbow yesterday around the Wolf Chase area. And if you can submit those to aonic no underscore necessary wreg3 on Instagram. And you can also find me on Google Plus as well. We're in many different locations around social media. Seven-day forecast is again available at wreg.com slash weather if you'd like to get more information there. i got to head back out on set to get the last half hour of daybreak done. We've got plenty more to talk about throughout the rest of the day today. So if you have any questions, austin.onic at wreg.com and also on News Channel 3 on air throughout the rest of the day. I'm meteorologist Austin Onik. Thanks for joining us on Periscope, Twitter, and Facebook. More to come throughout the rest of the morning and an update on News Channel 3's Facebook page just after the top of the 7 o'clock hour. So stay tuned for more there. And thanks for joining us early on Thursday morning for our exclusive video weather blog, weather time, overtime, weather overtime video update. I need more coffee. Thank you very much for joining us.